do. And it was pretty emotional already. And then, you know, that to me is a, a really, a really powerful moment in the game when you see what 50,000 people or whatever and the commissioner and the people in the press box and the umpires and and then when they did that thing at the end for Cookie holy smokes when you talk about putting an exclamation point on it it just was un incredible He's, he's been throwing bullpens. He's been going down to Lake County the last couple days just because so much is going on here. Um, but he's, he's been throwing pens. There isn't, there isn't a plan. I'm, I, and I don't mean that like we don't care. But the idea is for him to do as much as he can or as much as he can tolerate because it'll be good for him. Other than that, we're not pushing. We're, we're just trying to be supportive. What was it like for you watching Bieber tonight? I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I mean, I really, I was like, I was so, I've not been that nervous in a long, long time. And then after the game, talking to Corey in my office, and I, we were kind of going back and forth. I was, I was just kind of I'm really proud of him. I mean, I've, you know, I've seen this kid since he's a player. And I was telling him, and he was asking me about Beebs. And I was telling him, I said, what a good kid he is. And I said, I, Alex, I, said, I could not breathe during that inning. And we look up on the TV, he's getting the MVP trophy. I'm like, what the heck? So it was, that was, you know, when the, when the, Fans started chanting Bieber. I mean, I got chills. That was that was another incredible moment. So Tom Kluber really good today, or is he is now? getting rechecked today. Okay. Like I think, like well, not now. It's probably a couple, a couple hours ago. He was here and he left to go for a recheck. We can go through the guys if you give me the guys. Um, let's see yet. Jeffrey's out to 90 feet, throwing. Otero is resuming bullpens. He has, has resumed bullpens. It'll probably be for the next seven to ten days. Um, Salazar. Salazar is pitching tonight in Akron. I think it was 35 to 45 pitches, maybe three innings. 45. Okay. Um, Zim is out to... 135 and going to be out to 150 hopefully next couple days. Still swinging every day. Um, Kluber's been out to 135. That's where he's gotten to. Um, uh, who am I missing? Did I miss anybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kluber, yeah. We said still on schedule to come. I mean, he's pitching tonight, I think, and and to uh, rejoin the rotation on schedule. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we need to name them yet, but it kind of seems obvious. Were you able to rest up a little bit? Yesterday. Yesterday. Um, you know what? It was it was worth it. I was telling so, I was telling somebody a story. Um, some years back, it was the 08 All Star Game. You guys have been around me long enough to know what I think of Jim Leland. I think he's like was a gold standard for managers, and I wanted to invite him to be the guest manager, and I knew he would say no, but I wanted to invite him just because. I wanted to show him the respect that I thought he, and I remember I was out in the parking lot in Fort Myers at like 6.30 in the morning calling him over in Lakeland, and his answer, he was like, fuck yeah, you know, <laughs> I, and, 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 sorry, 
And that's Leland said that, not me. And it was like, and then the way he handled the game, it, it I, told, I, I told Alex, I said, Alex, I'll never forget that. I was so honored that he asked me that, yeah, everybody wants to get four days off. But that taught me, I, I'll never forget it. And I mentioned it to Jimmy when I saw him the other day here. Was that Cora's idea to send CC out there in the ninth the other night? I'm sure it was. Yeah. He actually had him talk to the team during the meeting, which I thought was extremely 